Hello and welcome to 34 Towery. Today we will be looking at how the internet works, from what it is, the basic infrastructure of it, and the process of surfing the web. To start, let's make a distinction between the internet and the World Wide Web. The internet is for global computer infrastructure that transmits information between interconnected devices, sort of like the roads and railways between cities. Each computer in a building is connected to their local network using a router, and it is the router's job to make sure that information sent from the computer ends up going to the right place in the network. Normally, to get a signal from your computer to the router, you will use Wi-Fi, but the router still needs to be connected to the internet. This is achieved through a modem, a piece of equipment that can turn the messages from your computer into something readable by the internet service provider, which provides you with access to the cable or telephone network that will be carrying your message to its destination. The World Wide Web, on the other hand, is the vast collection of interconnected web pages built on top of that infrastructure. Data sent via the internet is called a message, but as with digital radio broadcasts, the message needs to be broken up into smaller parts called packets before it is sent. To get the message from point A to point B across the internet, we need two protocols, internet protocol and transport control protocol. The first governs where the packets are sent. You see, every computer connected to the internet has its own individual IP address, much like a house address if you're sending a letter or package. This IP address is made of a series of four numbers separated by dots, and it's the internet protocol's job to make sure that the message reaches the right IP address, kind of like a postal sorting office. Transport control protocol, on the other hand, works to make sure that all the packets reach the desired IP address and are reassembled together in the right order. OK, so we've got the basics down. Now let's say we want to surf the web. How does that work? To start your journey, you type in a domain name or web address into your search engine, such as Chrome, Firefox, etc, etc. Your ISP pushes that request to a domain name server, which looks up the text-based domain name you asked for and translates it into the number-based IP address you want. Your browser then sends a hypertext transfer protocol request to the IP address, asking for a copy of a website to be sent back to you. The IP address approves the request and sends data packets back to you using IP and TCP. Upon receiving the packets, your browser is able to reassemble them as the web page you were interested in, allowing you to browse, shop, learn and interact. Anyway, that's all for this video. Citations and links to the sources used can be found in both the credits and in the description. If you would like to learn more, those are good places to start. As with all YouTube channels, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. So until next time, have a good day.